Everybody sees the red carpets, the accolades, reviews, box office, and they think, hey, that's a cool business. I always love film. I used to work holidays and weekends in a film store for a rand a day, and the only film school was for white people, so I studied engineering. Madiba and the ANC made a call to the public at large, speak out and do whatever you can against apartheid, I decided I should make a film. People that I work with said, no, you're crazy. You want to make a movie like that, we'll never make any money. It's never going to see the light of day. Who wants to see a movie about AIDS? And of course we did it. You can never please everybody all the time. You've got to just give it your best shot. There's something wonderful about sitting down in front of a film and immersing yourself in that story. And Anansing brought very South African, very significant stories to the big screen. What makes a good movie and what makes a successful movie is something that is fresh, something that is interesting. And whether it's watching Mandela or watching Mr. Bones, it's an emotional journey that you share with 500 people in a dark theater. Mandela Long Walk to Freedom took almost 25 years from idea to fruition. We had to take this amazing story and do a two-hour film out of it. After the movie, everybody's applauding, so I had to quieten them down. I said I had a sad announcement to make and tell the audience this had happened. Definitely the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. This is a beautiful portrait, really, really dramatic. This is a sexy business. It's a sexy career choice. People only see one side though. But it's a lot of hard work. And you know, there's been a lot of rejection you know, from a standpoint of making movies, getting scripts, and those are all stepping stones. As long as you follow your heart, you have gotta work damn hard. But ultimately, if you are passionate enough and want it enough, you will succeed. And looking straight down the lens, that is super cool. Just like so many South Africans through that era, against adversity that they faced, against the marginalization of their cultures, of their color, of their ethnicities, they made it work. South Africa is the best place in the world. Yes, there's challenges. There are challenges everywhere. It is a place where you can succeed. You've got to just make your own destiny. And whatever you do, there's no, nowhere else that you could do it better.